Oh, here's your 157 pounds, Micah Jordan, the younger brother of Bo Jordan, going up against Alec Pantaleo. And these guys have met before, but here's how they got here. You take a look at that big ball that uh, Jordan was able to get against Kemmerer, and it's pretty much a, a tight match at that point in time, really early. There wasn't much scoring at that point, but big ball really set the semifinals on fire. And then Pantaleo, of course, uh, getting the forfeit. Jason Noel forfeiting down to uh, sixth place. And uh, actually, uh, out, uh, Kemmerer did the same thing. Michael Kemmerer put, went forward, uh, forfeited down to sixth place as well. So we'll have two sixth place Love, finishers hand, take, in the championships and no fifth place finish. There you go. And Micah center. Jordan out of St. Paris, Ohio, St. Paris Graham High School, coached by his dad, Jeff. Powerhouse High School program up against Fingers. Alec Pantaleo, center, the, senior, uh, the redshirt junior out of Canton, Fingers. Michigan, Canton High School. They've met twice this year. Pantaleo's had his way, keep working, winning 10 keep to three and 12 to seven. Well, center. little con contrast of styles. If, uh, get in the middle. Micah get Jordan in the middle. really likes to get the attacks off. We'll go ahead and attack below the waist uh, quite a bit in his matches. Nice little single leg finish that he has. Pantaleo will hold position a little bit more, and uh, if you sh make a bad shot on him, he's got an excellent whip over, and he's got a beautiful double leg as well. Micah Jordan was a Big Ten finalist last year at 149 and also an All-American. Now he's bumped up a weight of 157 pounds. They're a bit stronger up here. Yeah, they look good in this weight class. I mean, it's Keep just working, nice fellas. to see guys kind of finally get into their their, their range. And sometimes you, you, in order to be competitive, you got to take a little bit of weight off and to be competitive in these college programs. And Micah Jordan has certainly been that. But both guys look really good up here. This would be nice if you, if, if you could move up as, as your that. body Work gets bigger. That. Nice to have that luxury. But these teams that they represent are so darn tough. I mean, you got somebody up in front of you that, that hey, I, I, well, I guess I got to go back down the way. So. Pantaleo also, as you said, was an All-American at 149, but two years ago, and redshirted last year. Third in the Big Tens two years ago, sixth in the NCAA. So it's Pantaleo difficult to get out of that head-hands defense, good square stance. You can see a little bit more motion. Watch the face, from gentlemen. Him. I look for him when he gets active with his hands, he starts shooting. There's that near on far leg. Nice little Neutral. counter shot there by Pantaleo. Coming up Work in the over-under position, both guys. I don't think either one of these guys Work really wants to be it. in this position. Shot, counter shot there. Less than Again, 30, both less guys than working 30. a little bit forehead to forehead. What I like to see from both of you, they're not getting tied up ear to ear. The temptation is to go ahead and get ear to ear where both guys are just really working upper body, but they're a little bit less likely to do that. Micah Jordan with a sudden pin against Kemmer last night to uh, just a stunning pin for Jordan coming into the uh, finals. Breaks. Uh, we're looking at 140 or 157 pounds right now. The 141 pound place winners and qualifiers right there I'll tell you what get on Ohio State. Lee from Penn State third, all the way down to Deal from Maryland eighth. They're your top eight qualifiers and place winners here at the Big Ten Championships. On their way to the NCAAs. In you Cleveland. mentioned, yeah, you mentioned Tim the semifinals yesterday. And that was just an emotional charge into this crowd when Micah Jordan was able to go ahead and get that fall against Kemmerer. Fingers, but guys, that's fingers. what these semifinals are like. It'd be a pleasure to be able to show them sometime to the rest of the world. You know, by, by but it's it's so cool because it's just the type of wrestling that you're going to see in the quarterfinals of the national tournament and maybe even more so working, because the intensity working. of the rivalries and the relationships and, and, and things that go on you know between the corners it's it's just uh it's just it's, it's a blast to watch and next year it's going to be in minnesota minneapolis let's Marty improve Huntington on that Penn. yes so it's must Center. see tv motion, motion. 
Now, Micah Jordan, and we'll talk about this, but Micah Jordan had the stunning pin, the upset of the favored Michael Kemmerer from Iowa. His brother, three-time Big Ten finalist, Bo Jordan, was stunned and did not make the finals for the first time in his career. And uh, we'll talk about that more as we get to 174. Jordan brothers hoping to get in the finals together. It didn't happen. Boy, the high highs and the low lows that the Jordan family experienced yeah. yesterday in a very short period of time was amazing. Get out of the face. We'll talk about this later too, but Bo Jordan uh, reacting with such class as you expect because that's the way most of the time Keep it working. is in this sport. Oh, you, you, hey, a week and a half from now, I mean, it, that, that, ma that match means nothing. Nice job by Pantelo getting on the leg. 22 seconds left. Good job of getting to the far yeah. ankle. He collects the two points there. If he can stay in the top position. And he, he, he's a good rider, Pantelio, but what he just accomplished there is what he's been working for the entire time, Jen, to get that low shot and execute for the takedown. And a good job of staying in the top position. He understood how important that was for the strategy of this match. And this Michigan crowd has been active all tournament, had a lot to cheer about. Fred takes down. Joe McFarland, the head coach, 19th year at right, Michigan. Gentlemen, he was a four-time All-American, no two-time Big Ten champion. And Got it? Uh, he won the Let Big Ten set. championship right here at Michigan State. Oh, State set. Cover Michigan. Easy. You're looking at him Let's there, go. the Silver Fox. Easy. In 1984, I said too, 1, he was a Big Ten 2, champion, and he won it right here at Michigan State in 1984. Another coach, head coach of a Big Ten team, won his won a Big Ten championship that year. Dwayne Goldman for Indiana. Silver Fox is the man. I don't, I don't know anybody that doesn't like the Silver Fox. He's just a great guy, a lot of fun. See Josh Trello, one of his. Uh, you know, he's got a solid. Assistant coaching staff there working with them out in Michigan. Right, Great facilities that they've been really put together a competitive team this year. 144. 144. Two of the red shirts from last year, Pentelio and Kuhn, in the finals of the Big Ten. That's that's the way they planned it, you know? Uh, like Hannibal from the A team. And he loves it when a plan comes comes together. Take a look at Micah Jordan's path to victory right now. Good quick escape right there. So 133 left in the match, and he's got riding time not a factor. And, you know, we talked about keys to winning championships. The pace of this match has not gone your way. You've got to do something to change it. We saw Pletcher do that at 33 where he started working the head a lot. Micah Jordan's got to do the same. And tough task against Pantaleo is really tough head hands defense. Guys, he didn't out get out of position very much. 112. And we saw him kind of whip over Jason Nolfe a, a couple times in that uh, uh, match that he had. But Mike understands this kid's won a lot of championships himself. And he understands that doesn't care if he gets beat by four points or five points. It's just all about trying to take home a title right now. Right now he needs a takedown. Michigan, Ohio State, doesn't matter what sport. It's heated rivalry all the time. We're going to end the day with one of those big Michigan-Ohio State working. rivalries between the Olympic champion Kyle Snyder and Adam Cooper. Jordan cannot get tied up in here very much. He's got to keep on moving him out. Nice job of circling back in. Tight circle. Now all of a sudden, Jordan's on the edge of the mat. But nobody's going to finish anything right there. So this is going to be... Huge commitment time by Jordan. What's he going to do? Three to one. Pentelio from Michigan fingers. leads. Jordan needs a takedown late here in the third period to take it to sudden victory. Got to go left, go right, go low, snap down, but not straight forward. Yeah, and that's where Pentelio is really. Boy, he jumped on a shot of his own right there. That's well done. Keeping Jordan off balance. Well done. And right up the road from Ann Arbor, Alec Pantelio, Michigan's second Big Ten champion of the tournament at 157 pounds. He's your champion. Michigan helping out Penn State in one of those not-so-fast moments. Team title is still 
lies in the in the in the balance here. But uh, good solid win by Alec Pantaleo, and he's with Shane Sparks. Well, Alec, congratulations, Big Ten champion for the Wolverines. What was clicking for you these past couple of days in East Lansing? Uh, you know, it's the past two weeks, really. You know, it's postseason. It's I learned my heart, the hard way my freshman year. Anyone can beat anyone, you know. So, just my last two weeks of training, I've been wrestling the best guys in the room: Kellen, Josh, Logan, and I know I've been just getting progressively better because I have the right mindset. So, from here, it's just all autopilot from here on. You know, it's had a rough season to begin with, but. It's how you end, you know, it's not how you finish, or not how you start. So. What have you come to truly appreciate as far as what it takes to win at this level? Very few people understand it. Well, you know, it's just when you surround yourself with higher level people, you just move to there. You know, it's like, I, I haven't noticed the difference just because I surround myself with four-time Big Ten champs and, you know, like, national finals, national champs. So, for this, this is all just like autopilot for me, you know what I mean? There's, I mean, we had simulation days the other day and I was literally wrestling Kellen to Josh, you know, like, so Logan, it's just, it's, those are the best guys in the nation. So this, anyone I wrestle all here is not as good as those guys, you know, so. I full confidence in my coaching staff, my partners and everything. Congratulations yeah, in Cleveland. Yeah, good seeing you, man. Good seeing you. Thank you. Thanks, Alec.